you want to know how to see your Google Ads performance max campaign data, there's a quick and easy way to do that, although it's not particularly apparent right off the bat. So I'll show you exactly what to do. First of all, if your Google Ads account doesn't look like mine, um, then there might be an appearance button at the top where you can switch to the old layout. I'm in the old layout right now. They've rolled out a new layout. Um, but once you're in your Google Ads account and you've selected a Performance Max campaign and selected the asset groups from within that Performance Max campaign, then you should see the different asset groups showing up in here. The only problem is there's no data. It just kind of shows you an overview of what's going on with the asset groups. So in order to see the data, you'll want to switch over to the table view. So right now we're in summary view. And if you switch to the table view, then it's going to look like this. Although by default, you won't have these columns in here that show the conversion rate and conversions, cost per conversion cost, all that stuff. So to see that, you would need to go over here. Once you're in the table view, you can click the columns here, click modify columns, and then from these different drop downs, you can select like conversions, cost per conversion, conversion rate, you know, whatever information you want to be displaying in these columns here, you can just select it and apply those changes. And now you can see we have the conversion rate, the conversions, the cost per conversion, the cost, and it's looking like all of the traffic is going to these two asset groups here. The interesting thing though is that this one here seems to be converting at a much higher rate than this one here. And that data is helpful to know uh, so that as we're going through and testing things we can determine which asset group is performing the best and pause the ones that are not performing the best and test new ones and continue to iterate until we zero in on something that is performing the absolute best that we can possibly get it to perform, <laughs> right? But without seeing the data for each asset group, it's going to be quite difficult to zero in on what exactly is working the best for you and further improve upon those results. So again, it's real simple. Just make sure you have a performance max campaign selected Make sure you have the asset groups selected from here and then switch over to the table view. Modify your columns from here as needed so that you can actually see the conversion values. Make sure to apply those changes and then you'll see all the information that you need to see in here. So I hope you found this video helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about in terms of how to see different data in your account or anything like that, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with Google Ads anymore, <laughs> then you can always reach out to me. Uh, my company is Missoula SEO Geek. I'll leave a link to my website down below, but we do manage Google Ads for different companies and different industries and you can come learn about what we do, what makes us unique. You can even read some of the testimonials from some businesses that we've taken from zero to over a million in revenue like this one here and really just see that you know this is the type of thing that's going to explode your business growth so feel free to reach out you can always give us a call or contact us through our website and look forward to working with you